Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth Hard Mode. We're gonna do some Eden Run today. Un Eden Run, hopefully. Why? We don't have a boss rush kill as Eden? Oh my god, we start with Breath of Life in the screw. Here's our seed. 1X, 1A, Z, V, D, F. So Breath of Life, as I understand it, gives you a chance, you know what, yeah, let's do it. Gives you a chance to be invincible if you're holding the button down when you take damage. I believe that's how this works. Uh, there might be deeper mechanics than that. I don't know what they are. To be honest with you, like the screw is not a terrible upgrade right off the bat. Extra tears is extra damage. The shot speed, more or less meaningless. Let's make our move here. Um, Okay, so it doesn't work against explosions, as I've just learned. I think it might only work for bullets. I seem to remember having this conversation uh, a little while ago. There's another tinted rock up here, okay. And I think if you absorb them, like, there's something secondary that can happen. Admittedly, like, I, I apologize for being so ignorant of it here, but I've never used the item. Because every time it's showed up, I've been like, how does it work? I just hold the button, how does it, I don't get it, how does it work? Um, the the consensus seems to be that it's just horse shit. Like it's it's really bad. But the fact that it shows up on the deal with the angel makes it uh you know, it, it makes it more intriguing. But I'll be looking to replace this with pretty much any spaceball item I can as soon as possible. But anyway, uh yeah. Yeah, we're going to use a bomb to get a key. Don't push it. Don't don't push it. Oh, crap. Um well, two bombs to get one key is still acceptable for us. What have I done? Yep, that was very stupid. Look at this disaster piece I've created for myself here. There we go, we're gonna make it out. It's important to keep the spirit heart alive if it's at all possible. We've gained like a lot of hearts and spirit hearts, but I've lost almost all of them as a result of being kind of a dummy. What do you think, do you wanna try to like, go with this guy into shooting us with a bullet and then we'll uh, we'll try to absorb it? Never mind. Maybe shot one too many times there. The tinted rocks are out of control, man. I appreciate it because I've been taking a lot of damage. And sad bombs, I actually think, is a super good item. Uh, I, I like it a ton. Are we on XL? No. Seller egg salad? We're not. It's on your uh, regular old, uh, you know, ye old seller, which means we could have the haunt, which would suck, but we can afford to use like a bomb. Oh. We can afford to use a bomb or two. I am going a little faster than you might otherwise be comfortable with because I am, again, trying to keep in mind that we have things like uh, our boss rush room, maybe here that we're trying to get. That's gonna be like the most difficult one to unlock, so I figured we might as well. And as Eve, we've only done mom's heart, so really anything we can get on this run is basically gravy. It's Widow. I am tempted to throw down a bomb, but knowing how important uh, consumables can be, Maybe we'll just take the extra six or seven seconds and we'll um, kill Widow without using a bomb. That'll allow us to get maybe another Tinted Rock or access to a secret room or something in the future that could be even more valuable. We also have a decent number of keys. This is kind of like a rare bounty for us. Uh, that was really bad, on a hard mode run. I can't believe, I'm, I have to apologize. Like I've taken so much stupid damage on this floor. We're, the fact that we still have a spirit heart left over, or half a spirit heart even left over, is is a joke. We should not have that. I have to let this cat in. God dang it, Tomo! What's your problem, buddy? Well, you're coming in now. Here you go. Ah, oh, this guy. It's, and now I'm losing time, Tomo? I should have paused it. Yeah, we lost, we lost a little bit of time there, buddy. It's not your fault necessarily. That's the worst though. They can't. Uh, he's like, let me in, 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 let me in. Then I open the door and he's like, what's up, dog? I have to like kind of shuffle him in myself. I'm gonna put a bomb down here, help us kill some enemies, but also maybe secret room, and it is indeed there. When you're not doing damage, these things that spawn enemies are just the most shitty assholes of all time. Good, 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 and curse room for free. Let's do it. The bombs will pay for themselves. Our curse room is just a waste of our time. Not not salty about it yet. I'm not salty about it yet because it doesn't really matter. Um, what happens as long as we can get a deal with the devil 
on this floor and maybe a good item from our item room, which should be conceivable considering we do have the potential to get to our item room and our shop if we got a ton of money, which we probably won't, but let's be honest. I'll take a space bar item, I'll take a, an attribute item, I'll take a damage upgrade, I'll take an HP upgrade, I'll take a tears upgrade, I'll take a tear effect, I'll take Taurus, I'll take any of the horoscope or zodiac items. Tarot card. Oh yes! This shows up with surprising regularity. Death's Touch is really good, in my opinion. Uh, also, getting the Stars card means it's extremely likely I'll be able to save a bomb and maybe even like half of a Spirit Heart or a Red Heart uh, on getting to the item room on the next floor. Now we want to make sure this uh, this uh, boss room happens as soon as possible. Our timing should be a lot better than last time. Uh, we're only about a minute shorter. And we left the last, or when we left um, the first floor last time, the first series of floors, we had Mom's Knife, so we are going to be a little bit less damaging, but we didn't end up winning that run, so, you know, maybe I'm full of shit. Pin with uh, Death's Touch. Shouldn't be too tough. It's better when he jumps. Yeah, there we go. Gives us a great opportunity to do substantial amounts of damage. There's HP, which I needed, and... Okay. Uh, haha. <laughs> yes, we will take the ability to fly. A bit of a touchy choice. I'd say we're done. I'd say we're done. Let's just go. Um, we're, we're low on HP now, but we have the ability to fly and penetrative spectral shots. That's really, really darn good. We're gonna need to stack up HP, and we're gonna need to stack up some damage. That's it, though. We have everything else necessary, and now, like, consumables are not going to be a big problem for us. Which is one of the major reasons that I, I, I chose to pick this up. But just in general, the ability to fly is so good. And the ability to do penetrative shots over rocks, can't be overstated. Pretty useful. Now, I'm going to use the stars card to go to our item room, but preferably I'd like to use it to get out of a curse room, just because it can give us that extra edge, you know? We can actually go to a curse room for free uh, if we abuse that. Or use that to the best of our ability. No consumable. I listened for the drop. Did not hear one. Good stuff. Okay, this is... Uh, at first I was nervous. I was petrified. Thinking how I'm going to survive without HP on my side. But then I spent so many runs trying to get items from Mom and I grew strong. I learned how to scum along. And anyway, uh, that, what I'm trying to get at, that was like a, there was genuine sentiment in there. Uh, I am encouraged oof, by the fact that we're not even coming close really to taking too much damage on this floor, which is great because it means that I'm like pretty much not as, I shouldn't be as nervous as I was. Let's put it that way. There's free HP for us. And also, there appear to be energy crystals. But I've never seen any thing like this on Oith. I didn't remember, I think I knew, but I didn't remember, that um, those fires, unfortunately, can go over the rocks. I desperately want a uh, deal with the devil here, by the way. Bottom left corner, you don't get hit. Uh, but I desperately want a deal with the devil because the classic, <gasps> oh, jeez. Classic item here is just uh, Guppy's, uh, Guppy's action. Up these nine lives, as they call it. <laughs> We're going fast enough that I don't need to feel like I'm going... Like I need to use the Stars card until we need to use the Stars card, if that makes sense. I know this room's not going to have anything, but... Or, it, yeah. I should say I know it's not going to have, uh... The item room adjacent to it or anything like that. Wow! Uh, I forgot. Sad bombs are going to be sweet as hell for us. When we actually get a chance to use them as a result of having Death's Touch. We're going to have 3 HP when we leave, that's going to be nicer. We, we're very lucky we came down to this floor with that eternal heart, or sorry, with that spirit heart, otherwise we would be dead. There's a golden chest there. So I, for some reason, decided to use my key to go to the item room. That's small rock, I, li I like that a lot. Um, truth be told, I'm okay with that decision to use, uh, to use my key, because it means we, on the next floor we can use our um, stars. Card. That was not very smart of me right there. And we don't have a curse room on this floor anyway, so maybe it's for the best. Now, you know what would really tie this run together, thank you, is a uh, lump of coal. 
If we can get a lump of coal. Um, our penetrative shots hit enemies on the way forward and on the way back, assuming that we, we collide with them. Um, that would be a really nice damage bonus. And actually, like, penetrative, spectral, uh, kind of curve it, like, coming back shots. That's really useful. We can hit the enemies so many different times with just one shot. It's pretty nice. As you saw, it works very well for sad bombs, too. They like, kind of, like, go out and then hit every enemy that they can, and then they come all the way back in and hit every enemy that they can on the way back in as well. It's pretty, pretty good. So this is where we are going to get the most advantageous use out of our stars card. Kind of a happy accident the way that we ended up using our key on the last floor. Don't take damage on the way in. Pick up some spider bros. Pick up uh, blood of the martyr which is a nice damage upgrade. Works for me. Now let's move along here. We're not quite, uh, you know, an offensive dynamo yet but we're doing okay. I've completely forgotten about the fact that I have a breath of life, because as I understand it, it's it's straight up trash. So uh, my hope is that we'll be able to replace it with something perhaps a little bit more uh, universally useful in the future. That's some real money here. Come on. Well, red hearts. We don't need them. Uh, we got almost a shop worthy amount of money. Jeff Shopworthy. You know what would be great? Um, is if we got red candle from our shop. That would, that would just tickle my fancy. We're already doing a ton of damage, but to be able to do even more is always a good thing, I think. Ooh, pills. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Not so bad, all things considered. It is nice to know there's a full health pill out there waiting for me. Would like to be able to actually hit things, but, you know, that's... It's more of a personal problem, I suppose. We're doing all right as time, as far as time goes here. Probably not as fast as um, we might like, but you know, you, you do have to keep in mind that things get slower as time goes on as well. You know, the next floor should be slower than this one. And this one should be faster. Or this one should be slower than the one that came before it, is what I meant, meant to say there. But we're also, uh, you know, doing our due diligence and exploring everything. Which just turned out to be completely meaningless for us here, but that's okay. Secret room, maybe? I gotta be honest, I just like seeing our sad bomb effect. And every time we go to a secret room, we actually seem to come out ahead, so... Like, bomb-wise, so I can't really be too mad about it. If we could just get Pyro? Oh, man, I'll just hide out over a rock and throw bombs down occasionally. Now, we're very, very close to being able to buy something from our shop. Guaranteed. Of course, there's always a chance that with 14 cents we can make that happen. Would really just love one penny to show up. No tinted rocks that I can see. There's our boss room and our shop. Okay, we're gonna fight our boss first. We did take red hard damage on this floor, so I'm not loving that. And I almost took red hard damage right there, but you know, you're not gonna get a second chance, Hollow. What's our tarot card? Shot speed up's alright, High Priestess is exactly alright. So I say we save our key because we don't have enough money, and we go down to the next floor. People will disagree with that decision, that's fine. You may be right, I may be crazy. Curse of the Blind, can't see what our items are. A little scary, I'll admit. Especially if we're actually going to be taking some deals with the devil. What do I want out of this run? At this point, I really feel like, uh... Well, let's get, like, obvious stuff like Spoonbender, that would just give us sweet synergies. I really just want high damage, though. If you're if you're gonna give me high damage, I'm not gonna turn on my nose at whatever it is. Come on. Oh my god, there we go. Careful not to use a key. Item room, not item room. Okie dokie. There's one of each kind in here. More than enough money to make our shop worthwhile now. My hunch is that we'll go to the item room, but I also, you know, I kind of feel like that can be pretty malleable. If we find ourselves in a situation where we find the shop first. Maybe I'll go to the shop first then. And I'm, I'm really not being too aggressive about using my bombs, because my thinking is, the bombs look amazing. If I can actually manage to, um... That was bad. If I can manage to save a decent number of bombs for, uh... 
for the late game, I think I could conceivably kill some difficult enemies or even bosses with one hit. So we're just going to leave that battery there on the off chance we actually get a more useful item. Oh, very good. Very, very good. We will open that golden chest now. I do seem to think that golden keys spawn a little bit more often on uh, on hard mode runs. I might be mistaken, but it seems to happen. Oh, infamy. That's You always get one of them on every run. There's mine. Nothing over there. These guys are very simple. If you can fly, if you can't, maybe a little bit annoying. Man, Lump of Coal will be so good. I'm just watching like how many times we hit an enemy with like what's effectively like our backswing here. It could be so good. Demon's Tail is fine. Range down, a little bit less so. One bomb for three bombs. We've had really good like bomb economy on this run. Uh, why am I going back for the range down pill? That's a very good question. All right, let's earn ourselves a deal with the devil here against the cage. I'm actually gonna, uh, I blew it, I blew it real hard. I was gonna use High Priestess against it, just to give us a much better chance of not taking damage, and he jumped at that exact moment. Don't start rolling, partner. I don't know what time it is. Cage has a lot of HP, man. You shouldn't be this tough. I thought our tears did more damage than this, I'll admit. I wonder if we catch, oh, if we catch like bullets with uh, with Breath of Life, if it actually heals us. Uh, man, that is, that is a shit upgrade right there, isn't it? There's no red hearts we haven't used. Are you kidding me? So I actually stand like a pretty reasonable chance of dying here? That hurts. Gotta try for the spirit heart, man. Well, this is a, it's an issue. Okie dokie. <laughs> Maybe spread those out a little bit in the future, but for now I guess I can't complain. Stompy! I think Stompy's pretty good. But it's not HP, and we could end up fighting Greed here. Black hearts? That's not a black heart. No greed. I'll buy the red heart. I say we buy one of these. Bogo bombs. Hey, that isn't so bad as far as I'm concerned. Bogo bombs, it's uh it's okay. Fifteen minutes. Because we've uh we were on a little bit of a time limit and I would love to make boss rush actually work. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go quickly ish. Down to the next floor, and I'll keep the timer up at that point. So we got f like four minutes. I'd like to be in the boss fight within the next three and a half minutes or so. Um, I don't love my chances against uh, against the clock, basically. I think we've got a really good chance of beating Mom, especially if I can just get back to full HP. Sorry, Breath of Life. we got to go with Bob's Rotten Head. Amazing. Um, but... Uh, Oh, oh, with sad bombs, Bob's Rotten Head is actually pretty sweet. Tower is going to be pretty sweet as well, actually. If we use the tower against Mom, we might be able to just tear ass open, basically. More keys. Uh, but yeah, I don't, uh, I don't anticipate it being a fast fight against Mom. Thank you, Infamy, for maybe saving my life there. Uh, so we, we should be aware of that fact. Do I really want to go in that room? Is that worth two of our incredibly valuable sad bombs? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Kind of want to find our item room and shop first. Maybe I'll sort it out. Well, it certainly seems like Bob's Rotten Head is a lot better when you have sad bombs. And your sad bombs are actually sweet, which ours totally are. Hmm. I don't even think we need to use sad bomb. Sad Bob's head here. Oh, that was terrible. Maybe I should have. 
that was pretty dope. Uh, I'm just gonna crag these dudes wide open here. Am I wrong to think the tower card is gonna be like a, a huge coup for us? I think it's gonna be great. That's why I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> That's why I'm gonna keep that instead of the Empress. Now we gotta make sure we don't get hit by the bombs, honestly, but or obviously I should say, but assuming we can do that, uh, seems like a pretty easy way to maybe just like kill mom instantly. Trying to use Stompy, you know, get as many uh, black market chances as we can, basically. And I, I don't always have the best track record for looking for Tinted Rocks. I don't know how that heart came to be, but I appreciate it. Oh, there we go. Okay, Quad Shot. This is... This is cool. We're like shooting out a piece of farming equipment or something. That is an amazing lack of items there. Alright, at 18 minutes... To be on the safe side, I'm gonna go, uh, let's use two bombs here, let's see what's up. To be on the safe side, though, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go fight Mom now. That's kind of what I figured this would be. Please wake up. Please wake up. Good, it didn't take any time, and we basically traded two bombs for a red heart and a half to get back to full HP. I don't know if I've ever done the full health thing on camera, so there you go. There it is. I got hurt, but it it really did go quickly. Uh, so we want the Polaroid, then we want Deal with the Devil, and I think we want both of these, honestly. Take Ceremonial Robes, we'll take Dark Bomb, two pills. I'm not going to take them yet, just in case they cause us to teleport away. All stats up seems like the right choice to take here. Now, as you can see, our damage not quite as good as it was last time. That being said, I think we picked up the right items to maybe make this one work. And not all enemies are created equal. Some of them are going to be a little easier for us to deal with. So I'm waiting to use uh, Bob's Rod and Head until we face something a little bit more annoying than what we're facing right now. Man, lump of coal. I can't get it out of my head. And of course, we do also have uh, penetrative shots. Now, unfortunately, they do kind of double back, which usually is kind of a blessing, but on times like this where we'd like to hit multiple enemies at the same time, it's not working out that much in our favor. But as long as the enemy kind of stays in a straight line here, it makes our life pretty easy when it divides like that. I don't like having uh, all those red poops like right in the middle. But I think it's, it's pretty much a foregone conclusion that our... Uh, our boss rush room is gonna go fine for us here. And if we get any surplus red hearts, even better, right? Dark Bum can capitalize on those. Wow, that was good. Enemies like Monstro are a little bit more, uh, well protected. Enemies like Chubb, totally fucked, or Chad, I guess, in that case. Enemies like Chubb, totally fucked. Thank you, Infamy. What are we going to use uh, Bob's Rotten Head against? Probably Death. I think the Death War Wave is the hardest, largely because of Death. Mask of Infamy might not be the worst choice either. Hell, even Monstro 2 Gertie might not be the worst choice. Like, these guys can be a little annoying sometimes. It's really helpful that Monstro is just choosing to kind of sit still. Makes my life much easier. Now let's just try to keep Gertie going in a straight line here. You know, our sights can come back and do twice as much damage. I was talking about like the additive effect of penetrative damage. <laughs> Pins, right? Pins and needles? Yeah. I always talk about the additive effects of penetrative damage, but how about penetrative damage so you can hit multiple segments and then multiple times? It's like additive, additive, additive damage. I don't know what I'm even saying anymore. Where's my husk at? Okay, Mask of Infamy. I guess, you know, with, with piercing shots, penetrative shots, whatever you want to call them, Mask of Infamy bloats not the worst. I'm so thankful that Mask of Infamy turned and went in a different direction. Come on. You gotta be dead soon. Yeah, you got like nothing going for you right now. 
Now, if I can get this guy in a straight line, not that it matters. Alright, so this is the second to last wave. This is it. Oh. Except for that, which is the first bit of damage that I've taken here. This has been one of the best boss rush modes we've had of all time. Not incredible damage, but, um... Basically... It's good? It, it seems to have gone not as well as I thought. I was like, are these my scythes or the enemy scythes? They're my scythes. Good. Alright. Fallen. Work with me here, buddy. He's already broken. You coming at me still? No, there is still one over there. Good. Please give me a good... Like, another damage upgrade would be great. It feels like my damage is not quite as high as it should be here. Skinny Odd Mushroom is a damage downgrade, but tears way, way up. So I'll take it. There's a Tinted Rock back there. Oh, okay. It's amazing that I didn't see that Tinted Rock. This is a very, very interesting run that we have going on here. Now, I would love... Well, we can take this off now. I would love to get Pyro. Or just more bombs in general. Because Sad Bombs has the potential to do so much damage for us. And I really like... Like, Sad Bombs is like the ultimate guaranteed synergy item. Because it's... If you have synergy, you got more of it. If you don't have synergy, hey, you got something going on now. Oh, right, okay. Don't be stupid. Watch out for Bomb Rocks. If you don't see any Bomb Rocks, go to town. A lot easier than looking for a Tinted Rock, I'll tell you that much. But if you see Bomb Rocks, you know, note their locations. Should use Bob's Rod and Head as much as possible. That went pretty well. That was just awful. Um, I'm very lucky that I got those four extra spirit... <gasps> oh, oh, not even scared. Very lucky that I got those four extra spirit hearts to kind of mitigate the fact that I'm mad because I'm bad. We're going to have a deal with the devil chance here. I really hope we get it. Skolex is, uh, you know, not a difficult boss fight for us right now. As you can tell. There's our speed upgrade and indeed a deal with the devil. And it is Krampus. This is it. Lump of coal. As much as I love Krampus's head, I can't help but feel that Bob's Rotten Head is maybe even more damage for us for once. And it is. Um, I'm going to take Bob's Rotten Head, man, just because it's ridiculous. And I know there's going to be people out there that are like, ah, oh, take Krampus's head. It's more damage. And you're not wrong. I like that little jingle there. Uh, you're not wrong, of course. We'll go back for that. I keep forgetting that I have Stampy. Stompy. Whatever. Um, but, uh... I don't know. We, we see Krampus' head so often. I don't think it's a bad thing to mix it up a little bit. And take one of the very... We get Bob's Rotten Head a lot as well, but, you know, it's always shit for us. So to have a chance to see Bob's Rotten Head at its finest is, is quite nice, I think. But look at that. It was pretty cool, huh? Now, I can't stress how, how much I would rather see Lump of Coal than Krampus' head. Whatever, though. What's done is done. Really? I accidentally stepped on that and it actually gave me a black card. Unexpected. Not disappointed, though. Decent decent idea there, at least. Didn't necessarily work out. Okay, more money, less problems. Like, definitely. Pretty much objectively, really. I don't know why I feel like I should be rushing right now. That was a bad decision. We got a black card back, though. Oh! Oh my god, he's too fast! I was gonna use Bob's Rotten Head there, and it would have probably killed everything. Oh, we just went the Curse of the Maze, right. Get Curse of the Maze, right? I get a little confused sometimes. Ah, uh, I... <laughs> it does do... A, it has like a little aftershock after it lands, but I was just gonna let it finish the job, and then it proved to me that it was not capable of doing so. Um... Fuck it, we know that's Balls of Steel. Some of these are going to hurt. It doesn't matter. We broke even. Yeah. I mean, it was worth it. 
I think, like, Demon Tail might be making that work out, yeah, more often for us. So, we, we have to weigh it. But it may be very worthwhile for us to, to crack open those rocks if Demon Tail gives us a nearly equal chance of getting black hearts. Or even a better chance for that matter. Okay, well, Tammy's head. We will actually roll Tammy's head instead of, um, instead of Bob's rotten head, because we can use Tammy's head once per room as opposed to once every three rooms. Now, we don't get the benefit of sad bombs, but we do get three times the usage, which I think you know, makes up for it. I'm always looking for Tammy's head on these runs where we got sweet synergies. So this strikes me as being very much worth it. Now, beating Mom's heart is not going to be a, a challenge here at all. I think we've got a pretty good chance of even going as far as we can, you know? Having a decent chance to beat the cathedral and the, the chest. The thing we got to know about Tammy's head is that it works... It, like, the shots don't go very far. So we pretty much gotta gotta use them or move very quickly into a general area where they're gonna be able to do the most damage. That is pretty sweet how they just killed like a fistula by themselves though. Um, not that it would have taken us that long with our uh, actual shots as you can see right there. Yeah, so it, it's a little bit of a funky kind of aiming system here with Tammy's head but it is getting the job done. This is pretty nice. That, that feels good. I, I can't tell a lie. Check this out. Ready? I'll admit, I thought that was maybe going to be a little bit more potent than it actually ended up being. I thought she was going to get one shot. Oh well. Have we just gotten like zero red hearts for, uh, for bum, Dark Bum to actually take advantage of? Or have I just not picked any up? No, I don't think we got any. We could gamble for them, but whatever. Up to the next floor. Not feeling bad about this run at all. The other encouraging thing is that we have uh, so many more chances for items once we get to the chest, which, let's be honest, is looking pretty likely. We really have to be careful with our with the direction that we choose to move, because it does nerf Tammy's head when we move too far out of the range of enemies. Obviously, it makes us more likely to be hit when we stay there, but I don't know. How many enemies can stand up to this kind of Tammy's head burst that we're throwing out here? I think it's like, is it my reflection and our low range that's causing these shots to be a little weird? We may never know. Alright. I feel pretty okay about that. There's more, oh, he's still alive. I was like, there's more poops? That's crazy. There are more poops. Where are, where are you? There you are. I'm not sure. Maybe I would have preferred Bob's Rotten Head. But it's hard to... Ooh. It's hard to argue against, uh, you know, Tammy's head. That was bad damage. In a situation where, you know, any enemy that gets in that spread is dead instantly. It gets hit by, like, 50 shots at the same time. Loving the extra bombs we're picking up. If only, like, I actually want extra range now. For once. Because if we get it, um, then I think the Tammy's headshots would go a little further away before they circle back. And that would make a big difference. The main benefit, though, is that we know that Tammy's head works every room. Which is exceptionally useful for us. Full stop, basically. Full stop, addicted to the shindig. You get the end. You know the idea. I guess if we... Oh, there's a tinted rock. Um, I guess if we play our cards, like, exactly right. And we know exactly, like, when and where to put this down so that it has the best chance to hit enemies. That works out for us. That time, it, there's no need. It would actually be awesome to get, um... Uh, the battery associated with this. Because I think that two Tammy's head charges used on the same room against a stationary enemy would be, like, it would kill everything. Alright, let's do this. I'm ready. It's not quite as much damage as I thought it would be. I'll be honest about that. 
Now, I think I am... I'm just going to throw down some bombs. We'll see how these do. They do very well. Infamy has also saved me twice already. That's crazy. The closer we get these bombs, the more damage they do, I think. Oh, we want to be up there. Okay, we're safe here. I'm going to put a bomb down. This should be pretty good. Don't have to be close at all to... To have these bombs be effective. Alright, this is going to be interesting. I hope we get the coolest synergies of all time down here on the chest. We shall see. Gimpy. Rosary. They're okay. Remote detonator. And, uh, bomb bag. This is actually pretty bad. I'll pick up Rosary after I get hit once. But, um, remote detonator is something that I will, um take in to the boss fight unless we get a, a cooler spacebar item which I can barely fathom but if we take remote detonator into our boss fight I'm pretty sure we can throw down like you know 50 bombs basically and then just blow them up at the same time and get an instant kill which is just fun this is a fun way to end a run so um, I, I, I can't deprive you guys of that on this run it's more bombastic than Tammy's head Tammy's head's been fine though a little bit less useful than I was hoping but you know Fuck me, I guess. It's killing, like, half the enemies we face in one hit. But it's not clearing out every room in one hit. God. You just don't understand, Mom. I'm hoping we get some more golden chests as well. Like, uh, come on, uh, w w work with me, twerk with me here, game. I need some... Give me all your love, all your hugs and kisses, too, you know? Like... There we go. Thank you for being dead. Um, also... Has there ever been a less useful Dark Bum in the history of my Binding of Isaac play? I don't think since we got Dark Bum, there has been a single Red Heart drop. Which is pretty amazing, considering that we picked up... Or we, we went to the boss rush room, which is normally like HP territory. And maybe not on hard mode, but on non-hard mode for sure. Yeah, that's right. Stay in a straight line here. You're making my life real tough. Uh, we can we can afford to take the rosary now. That felt pretty sweet. The bomb drops. I I know we have bomb bag, but my god, it's crazy. Ah, eh, whatever. We took damage. The the amount of bombs. I know we have bogo bombs as well, but like, jeez, that was pretty amazing as well. Ah. Two of hearts. Well, that's better than what we had before, which was literally nothing. Should probably not have killed Gluttony, because we could have actually used Dark Bum for once. Alas, that's okay. Magician? Yeah, you know what? Magician could be really fun. I just used it, didn't I? Why did I use it so quickly? Should have saved that for the boss fight with the uh, remote detonator. Oh well. Pretty amazed, by the way, that I can't seem to get a uh, any more like chests. Just work with me here. Give me some extra chests, dog. I want Chester Cheetah's wild, wild chest right now. That was bad damage, but hey, second secret room. You'll never know if you don't go, and you'll never shine if you don't uh, if you don't blow. I don't remember. Pills. One of these is balls of steel. Okay. Range up what I wanted with Tammy's head. Telepills. Would it be great if it took us to an IM air room and just fucked up the whole run? Like I couldn't even finish the game? I don't think that works, by the way. Dark Bum! He's like, I'm so hungry. Thank you for feeding me for once. Pretty absurd that we uh, have yet to finish this floor. At least find out where the floor ends. The bomb- we're getting like literally two bombs per room. I really thought that he would die before he touched me there, but it's not the end of the world. Finally, okay. Well, it doesn't really matter who we kill. I kind of like the idea of not killing Sloth, which we just did. Because I wanted to see if we could get a cool tarot card for Synergy. Okay, so. 
work with me here. Well, let's finish off all the rooms, because it'll be fast and who cares, basically. Like, it's going to be super simple for us, and we'll see if we get, like, another chest or more items or something like that. If I die, you have my permission to be mad at me, but uh, I don't think I'm going to die. Tammy's head did a pretty nice number on this guy right here. Plus, we had to go back this way anyway, because I was planning on getting Remote Detonator. And that's how we're going to beat the boss fight, is Remote Detonator. That worked. More money. More bombs. I know this sounds crazy. I would like to place all 53 bombs to kill Blue Baby. It is crazy. But, so crazy, it, uh, it just might work. Let's do it. So, I gotta place these all around. The benefit of, like, the first phase of Blue Baby... That he doesn't really seem to sh shoot that much. He, let's be honest, really just doesn't give a shit at all what's happening. So, I think we can just pretty much stand right here and just keep pressing this button. Tomo, you're gonna need to go, please. This is gonna be absurd. I'm counting on these bombs kind of propagating themselves outwards here. Seems to be working out pretty well. By the way, maybe a bit of a, a seizure warning here. Oh, I did some damage to him. Now he's been activated. Doesn't matter. We'll stand in a safer place and then kick some bombs in later. This, this is like some Christmas lights shit right here. We're not even close to being done. So if, you, if you've if got a, you know, flashing lights warning, get out of here. Get out of here as quickly as you possibly can. I mean that sincerely. It's starting to hurt my eyes a little bit. So I'm just focusing on other things. Man, if only we had not bumped into Blue Baby. This would be a little bit easier. If he doesn't die in one hit, by the way, we might be totally screwed. Oh, don't send him into like a second phase. Holy crap. Well, we've got to like... we got to save some of our HP. Because we're going to get hit once by these bombs. Shouldn't be more than once, but definitely once. Here we go, you ready? Here we go, three, two, one, go! It worked. <laughs> yeah, it worked. Well, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed that run. That was a pretty slick Eden run. Filled out most of that post note. If you enjoyed it, click the like button, and of course subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.